So I wanted to see if it was possible to run a large language model on a tiny ESP32 microcontroller. It turns out it is, and the results are pretty interesting. But why would anyone want to run a large language model on the ESP32? Well, for me, it's all about pushing the limits of resource constrained systems. To get this working on an ESP32, I needed to start off with the smallest model I could find. Enter the Tiny Llamas repo on Huggy Face. It offers a model that's so small, it only has 260,000 parameters. Just to give you some context, GPT-4 has over 1 trillion parameters. But even at 260,000 parameters, this model was still around 1 megabyte in size, which is a lot for microcontrollers. But I found an ESP32 S3 with 2 megabytes of PS RAM and 4 megabytes of flash storage that should be able to handle this. To run the model, I used a pure C inference script from the Llama 2C repo, built by the legendary Andre K, who, by the way, also co-founded OpenAI. Adapting his script for the ESP32 was surprisingly straightforward. I swapped out the MAP calls for Malik and loaded the model using the ESP spiffs file system. At this point, the model was running, but it was slow, and I mean really slow. So I wanted to see how much I could speed it up. First, I went into the ESP menu config and cranked up the CPU and PS RAM to their max speeds. 240 megahertz and 80 megahertz respectively. Then I used the ESP32 second core to offload some of the heavy lifting, like the matrix multiplication and attention calculations. I also discovered that the ESP32 has some nifty SIMD instructions through its DSP library, including an optimized dot product function. After these optimizations, I managed to get an output of 19 tokens per second. Of course, this LLM is super limited compared to what you get from something like ChatGPT. It's small and is trained only on tiny stories, so don't expect it to write emails or generate code anytime soon. But for specific use cases like generating fortune cookies or holiday cards, these micro LLMs could be pretty fun and practical. So guys, there you have it, a local LLM running on an ESP32. I really enjoyed this project as it was a way to kind of bring AI into the world of embedded systems. So guys, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.